Hello and welcome to our eight flavors of Hanukkah. I'm here at the local JCC in Warsaw and I'm sitting down with my two good friends, Agata and Sasha, and we are going to be talking about one of the best things that you could have during the Hanukkah season, in my humble opinion, donuts, or what do we call them? Ponczki. Sukaniot. Sukaniot. And uh, we're feeling so festive here. We're surrounded by these donuts. So we are going to have such a good time talking about this. And we're not going to just talk. We're going to be eating these things as well. And I hope that at least one time this week, you yourself will be having some of this with your friends and family. And also, we're going to be talking about the history of this delightful dessert and also some of our favorite traditions that we have here in Warsaw. Because, you know, it doesn't matter where you are in the world and where you're celebrating Hanukkah. Everybody seems to have their own, like, fun twist or fun thing that they do for Hanukkah, depending on where they are. So we're going to share with you what we do, the Warsaw way of celebrating Hanukkah. So without further ado, let's talk about some donuts here. So let's talk about the history of this donut, because I don't think that this donut is uh, originally Polish or Russian or whatever. I think it has some deeper roots based upon the holiday because Hello, if you're going to eat something, you're going to eat it in oil, right? Because of the miracle of Hanukkah, etok dali, as we say in Polish. So, guys, talk to me about this donut. What is the history here? Um, something that I can share from the Polish history is that, interesting enough, connected to oil, but uh, typically the donut was eaten with lard. Um, and actually you had uh, some vodka next to it. So not sweet. Uh, do donut with lard and some vodka to make you yourself warm. Polish style. I was going to say, that sounds pretty Polish to me. And when did it transition from being kind of like this savory vodka experience to what we kind of see today? Oh, that's a great question. I wonder myself <laughs> when it happened. <laughs> But so, luckily it did happen. Luckily it transitioned and now it's filled with, uh, traditionally in Poland, we have like what's called a rose jam. And I, and I know, I know that some people at the table here that they don't particularly care for rose jam inside of their uh, sukanio, but I'm going to tell you if, if you are coming, you want to try like a non-kosher version of this. It's so delightful. And uh, what are some other variants you can get? Um, well, Actually, today you can get everything that's sweet in it. Um, one of my favorite is white chocolate, pudding, um, and strawberry duper jam. Those are the ones that uh, I really go for. That's kind of exotic. And what about you? Do you have a favorite ponchki filling? I like toffee. <laughs> oh. Yeah. And let me tell you, uh, the donut or ponchki game here in Poland is very strong. Like, you think you got jelly-filled donuts in the United States? You need to book your ticket and come to Poland because these jelly-filled giants are are giant. They're huge, and uh, they're getting more exotic as the tastes go on. So you can get a big box full of these exotic flavors, and they're like really like putting Nutella and everything in it. So you have traditional and you have exotic. You know, it's pretty dangerous because very close to the JCC, we have one of the best places oh, that yeah. serves ponczki. Uh, the donuts and they're served warm uh, and they're available all year long mm -hmm. and I think it's uh, it's pretty dangerous you know it's so yeah. accessible that you end up eating them daily yeah I, I've actually stood in the line of the place I know that you're talking about I know like you said uh, earlier we were talking that there are several places just right around the JCC but uh, the one that I think you're talking about like you can queue in this uh, place for I don't know, a good 15 minutes, and it's worth the wait. And the price isn't so bad either, four zlotties and a half or something like that. And having a hot donut, it's worth it. So for us and our culture here in Poland, of course, for Hanukkah, it's obvious. We're going to be celebrating Hanukkah with this. But the fact is, you can get a ponczki, sukonyots, donut, whatever. You can get it year around. It's an obsession in this country. Am I not right? It is. You can get ponczki all year long. Um, so 
and you can walk on the street and if it's a popular street then you have a place where, where they sell donuts for you yeah and i think don't we have also like a holiday dedicated to Tonchi? yeah there, there is a special first day every year mm -hmm. uh where you really stuff yourself with uh, so called fat thursday <laughs> yeah and let me tell you you can have like all the all the punch keys whatever during hanukkah and then just wait a couple months and they have a day just dedicated to this and this is a day you, you should be in poland all poland, right poland the land of ponchik <laughs> poland the land of <laughs> sukan <Sukhanyot. laughs> let me tell you it's not a joke All right, so now we're going to switch gears and we're going to talk about Hanukkah traditions because this is a big deal. Uh, I know I grew up in California and we have, I, I would just say right now, we have different traditions in California than they may even have in New York, for example, but not like huge differences, but definitely differences like palm trees and roses blooming and uh you know, that's happening and, you know, just other family little things that we would, you know, have at the table or whatever. But we're in Warsaw, Poland, and I'm, you have to know that there's going to be some really cool and exciting things that you can do for the Hanukkah season if you want to come here to the JCC and kind of hang out here and uh, be with these guys. Tell us, what happens around Hanukkah in Warsaw at the JCC and in the community here Uh, in Warsaw? Well, I can say that uh, one thing that became a tradition already, uh, and we're very proud of it, is that we take all the Jewish organizations together and we light the first candle uh, as a community, regardless of uh, where you're affiliated, uh, which is a beautiful thing. Um, but here at the JCC, we also try to uh, get to different traditions through a modern lens, through fun lens. So, for example, one of my favorite uh, events around Hanukkah that we did was um, we created a casino. We turned the JCC into a real casino. Um, so we referred to the tradition of uh, dreidel and playing games. Um, and we even produced those wonderful dollars, oh. Hanukkah dollars. <laughs> Um, but we've done um, also another very interesting, in my opinion, project uh, that was called Enlightenment together with the Keret House, um, where we chose eight locations of buildings that were pre-war buildings that were connected to uh, Jewish life before the war. And now they're still standing, but they serve other purposes or they're just, uh, you know, leftovers of those buildings. And we put back the light in them. Uh, so it was kind of this referral to what if um, the history would be different and still the Jewish uh, people would uh, live here in such big numbers. Probably in all those places, Hanukkah lights would be lit yearly, mm -hmm. but also it had another symbolism that we are still here and there are people here who are able to light those uh, candles mm -hmm. and put the lights back. So it had a hopeful feeling as well. I really, really love that. And see, that's a little bit different just because of, of the location and the emphasis on uh, regeneration and, and putting, you know, putting things towards the future. Do you guys have any like Hanukkah memories? Uh, growing up or anything like that you'd like to share? Um, yeah, so actually a few days back I was looking for my Facebook page uh, and I saw this picture of me standing with a uh, plate full of ponchkis and that was actually from a time where JCC Warsaw did not have a place and we called it JCC Without Walls uh, and that was one of the events that we've made in a, in a place rented out uh, here in Warsaw uh, and, and that, that was actually done in a restaurant that I, Uh, really like and we had a very nice communal uh, moment. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention is that typically for the, for that um, for, for Hanukkah we eat sufganiyot which are smaller, which are these ones uh, and they are not filled with jam or jelly uh, but they are uh, to, the dough is mixed together with white cheese and, and that's also pretty delicious. Ooh, that sounds so, so good. So, by the way, Kosher, kosher donuts. Is it possible to get that here? Definitely, get here. 
so here at the JCC Warsaw. So you guys actually produce and sell them at the JCC? So they are, we have a kosher kitchen and we have a wonderful chef, Kuba Chojecki. Um, and uh, every Sunday we serve special kosher brunch mm -hmm. uh, called Boker Tov. Mm -hmm. So during Hanukkah for Boker Tov, obviously you will get homemade uh, sufganiyot. Mm -hmm. uh, and I have to say that uh, Kuba is a master in deep fried stuff. He knows how to make the dough, he knows when to put it, when to take it out, mm -hmm. so that it's really the right, the right, a bit crispy on the outside, but very soft in the inside. Oh, Are we eating yet? Good. We're we're actually almost there. And by the way, if you're interested in this kosher Warsaw JCC uh, Ponchki Sukanyot donut recipe, whatever, it's called, it has three names, but it's just one amazing thing. We will be providing this recipe for you. So if you'd like to try it. And what makes it kosher? Um, so one thing definitely, you don't use lard. Uh, That's true. <laughs> <laughs> um, and of course the kitchen needs to be kosher and all the ingredients needs to be kosher. Mm -hmm. So we will, like I said, provide the, uh, the ingredients and the recipe for you on our website. So just be looking for that. All right, guys, I'm sorry, but we have to close this program out and we're going to do this by celebrating and eating some delicious ponchki. Are you guys ready for this? Oh, yes. Absolutely. All right. So let's grab one and let's share it with our friends. And come watching. and visit. Yes. You have to come to Warsaw. Absolutely. For donuts, for Hanukkah lights or any other time during the year. Yeah, we definitely invite you to Warsaw to check out Jewish Warsaw and everything that's available here. We have the synagogue, we have great sites for you to see. This is not just a place, you know, people associate with death, but actually this is L'chaim. This is a place of life and to life. And you can come and experience this Come to the museum, of course, and see the history, the 1,000 year history of the Polish Jews, but then come and walk around these streets and eat the ponczki, meet the friends. You know, like she says, we have this Sunday brunch that you can attend and you should attend. I heard it's wonderful. I think I need to come myself, actually. And uh, well, without further ado, let's have some sukran yod, okay? Mm -hmm. Have a wonderful uh, Hanukkah, by the way. We send you our greetings and we look forward to seeing you the next time here in Warsaw. All right. Haksamea. Haksamea. Haksamea.